veterinarians had reached a point where they had no choice but to euthanize two young dogs due to their poor health. Just as they were about to administer the procedure, something remarkable happened that caught the attention of the vet, leading to an unexpected turn of events. On a Monday morning, Dr. Emily Harding returned to the Hope Animal Shelter after a restful weekend. Despite the tranquility of the morning, she felt a heavy heart as she prepared for the day's duties. The most distressing aspect of her job awaited her as she entered her office, a task she wished didn't exist in her profession. Sitting at her desk, Emily sighed deeply, burdened by the thought of what she was obliged to do. The shelter had a firm policy. Animals that did not improve with treatment and were in pain should be humanely euthanized to prevent them from suffering further and to protect other healthy animals from potential diseases, though it was a necessary action. It devastated Emily every time she had to enforce it. Since her tenure at the shelter, euthanasia had been infrequent. Emily, along with her colleagues, strived to see each animal as worthy of life, regardless of their condition. They exhausted all possibilities before considering euthanasia. However, some cases were too complex, and despite their best efforts, euthanasia seemed to be the sole option. Once again, Emily felt as though she had failed in her duty to protect these precious animals. As she had pledged to do as a veterinary doctor, now, she was faced with a heart-wrenching decision to euthanize two endearing dogs, Sam and Max, as they were not responding to any treatments and their conditions were incurable. Euthanizing them appeared to be the only means to alleviate their suffering. However, unbeknownst to Emily, the events of that day would profoundly affect her and lead to a completely different outcome. As she reached for the shelf above her desk, Emily retrieved the list of animals scheduled for euthanasia that day. Her heart sank as she read the names Sam and Max. The thought of ending their lives filled her with a deep sense of sorrow and empathy. Leaning back in her chair, she couldn't help but reflect on the journey these two pups had endured before arriving at the shelter. Sam and Max had a story that had touched everyone. They had been discovered alone on the bustling streets of their hometown, in a vast and perilous world. Two tiny, helpless creatures found themselves overwhelmed from the moment they arrived at the shelter. Ever since that day, the pair, known as Sam and Max, were inseparable, always curling up close to each other for warmth and solace. Their deep emotional bond not only comforted them but also touched the hearts of the shelter's staff despite the tough circumstances they faced. Sadly, despite receiving the best medical attention the shelter could provide, Sam and Max's health continued to decline rapidly. All efforts, treatments, and interventions had fallen short of reversing their condition. The shelter's veterinarians, including Emily, had exhausted all possibilities, yet the outlook remained grim. As Emily reviewed the situation, a lump formed in her throat. The difficult decision of euthanasia seemed the only remaining option, yet the thought of ending the lives of these two endearing pups was almost unbearable. The story of Sam and Max began when they were rescued by compassionate Buddhist nuns from the harsh realities of street life near a pagoda. Unable to ignore the puppy's plight as they scoured for food and navigated dangerous roads while ill, the nuns were moved to act, with kindness and a hope for a miracle. They coaxed the pups with food and brought them to the Hope Animal Shelter. Sam, the larger of the two, was often seen cradling his smaller companion, Max. A poignant gesture that spoke volumes of the hardships they had endured together, their unwavering companionship continued to flourish even as they were rehabilitated at the shelter, melting the hearts of everyone around and spreading their touching tale. Yet, there was an unseen depth to their connection, as they huddled together, bracing for what was to come, Emily steeled herself to perform the heart-wrenching duty, with a heavy heart, she approached their kennel. But nothing could have prepared her for what she found. Arriving at their enclosure, she saw them nestled together, their eyes closed in what appeared to be peaceful resignation. It seemed as though the pups had sensed their impending fate and had chosen to accept it. Overcome with emotion and with tears in her eyes, Emily knelt beside them, gently stroking their fur, preparing to lead them to the room where they would be laid to rest. In that moment, she was struck by a profound realization. There was something truly special about Sam and Max, something that distinguished them from the other animals she had encountered. In all her years as a veterinarian, Emily had never encountered such a profound connection between animals. Was it the remarkable bond they shared, or merely her emotions playing tricks on her? As if aware of her scrutiny, Sam slowly raised his head and locked eyes with Emily, in that fleeting glance. She detected a flicker of hope and resolve that caught her off guard, sensing Sam's shift. Max snuggled even closer, unwilling to part from him. Emily's heart filled with warmth as she witnessed this poignant scene. Just then, 
a startling revelation came to light unexpectedly, altering everything, Emily observed that Max is typically labored in shallow breaths, indicative of his chronic health issues, now seemed to stabilize while he lay curled up beside Sam. This astonishing discovery left her momentarily bewildered, driven by curiosity, she carefully separated the two puppies to watch their reactions, the moment they were apart, Max began to whimper, and his breathing grew troubled again, reverting to its usual state, however, when reunited with Sam, his breathing eased once more, speaking to herself, Emily tried to grasp the situation, puzzled by these observations, Emily wondered if Sam might be aiding Max's recovery in some mysterious way. This hypothesis was unusual and unlike anything she had witnessed in her veterinary career, determined to uncover more, she decided to conduct thorough tests, monitoring their vital signs meticulously, she recorded breathing rates and looked for any signs of distress, as Emily pondered the possibilities, she speculated whether Sam's presence could be soothing enough to stabilize Max's condition, or if there was a deeper, inexplicable connection between them. Aware that she needed more information before making any decisions about their future, she was mindful of the shelter's strict policies, however, this unexpected development offered a ray of hope that there might be another way forward, the bond they shared was unique and possibly crucial to their survival. Over the following days, Emily and her team kept a close watch on Sam and Max. Finding it hard to believe their findings, it appeared that Sam's presence had a calming effect on Max providing him with emotional support that went beyond simple companionship. The more they observed, the more apparent it became that their bond was extraordinary. This spurred Emily to further investigate. She delved into research and discovered studies that might explain the phenomena they were witnessing. Aware of the profound impact emotional connections can have on physical health in both humans and animals, Emily had a moment of realization. She remembered the two police dogs, Sam and Max, who arrived at the shelter undernourished and ill, yet they clung to each other and resisted separation. Despite their condition, they shared an inseparable bond. When the shelter began their treatments, the dogs had to be separated, which gave Emily an idea for an unorthodox treatment strategy. Emily suggested to the shelter's board a plan that involved keeping Sam and Max together while they received medical care that encompassed not just their physical health but emotional and psychological support as well. Initially, the board was doubtful about this approach, but the evident strong connection between the dogs convinced them to approve the new treatment plan with high hopes. As weeks passed, the results were astonishing. Max's health improved remarkably and Sam became more energetic and playful, their recovery seemed to hinge on their emotional bond, Emily shared their progress on her social media pages, documenting their journey and the remarkable bond they shared, she was overjoyed that she had given them a second chance, the story of Sam and Max began to circulate and capture the hearts of dog lovers worldwide, their resilience and the emotional connection they shared touched many leading to an influx of donations from true animal lovers moved by their story. These contributions helped the shelter continue to care for Sam, Max, and other animals in need. Filled with gratitude and pride, Emily saw the broad impact of Sam and Max's story. The two dogs, once on the verge of euthanasia, had sparked a wave of kindness and support that would benefit many more animals. However, surprises were still in store for Emily, now fully recovered. Her deepest hope was that they would be adopted together into a home where they could spend the rest of their lives. Typically, visitors looking to adopt chose one animal, but for Sam and Max, separation was not an option. Their inseparability meant that parting them could lead to chronic depression, impairing their ability to function and interact properly. With their growing popularity on social media, Emily remained hopeful that someone would be moved enough to adopt both of them. One evening, as Emily was exiting the animal shelter from a long day of work, she received an intriguing phone call from a local news station. They expressed interest in featuring Max and Sam, two of the shelter's resident salmon. Thrilled by the proposal, Emily accepted, hopeful that their story would encourage others to recognize the potential for life and love in every creature. Little did she know how dramatically this would change the lives of Sam and Max, following the broadcast. Emily and her team were left in complete astonishment by the overwhelming reaction from viewers. The story of the two resilient puppies had captured the hearts of a vast audience. People from every corner tuned in eagerly, drawn by the compelling tale of the canine duo, Sam and Max, who had endured so much yet exuded an undeniable sense of warmth and joy as they cuddled together throughout the interview. When the reporter asked Emily about the critical factor that led to the puppies' rescue, 
She glanced at the pair, who were now engrossed in play with a squeaky toy, smiling softly, she responded, I believe they saved each other, sometimes, that's all it takes, just a bit of love, a second chance, and a whole lot of hope. The night that interview aired was truly unforgettable, not only for Emily but also for countless viewers, messages poured in from far and wide with people expressing their heartfelt desire to adopt the charming Sam and Max, the story had spread. Touching lives across the globe, and while many potential adopters reached out from various parts of the world, their remote locations made adoption complicated, nevertheless, the broadcast had a powerful impact beyond just finding a home for Sam and Max, generous donations began to flood the shelter, with financial support coming from an inspired audience who wanted to contribute to the shelter's mission. The unexpected surge in donations led to an increase in adoption rates. With many animals finding their forever homes, it was as though Sam and Max's story had inspired a wave of compassion, leading numerous families to open their hearts to shelter animals in need. Just when it seemed that Sam and Max might never find a local home where they could stay together, fate had a beautiful surprise in store. A few weeks after the broadcast, a family from a nearby countryside village paid a visit to the shelter. They had recognized Emily from the news feature and were instantly touched by Sam and Max's story. Excitedly, they explained how they had been moved by the bond between the two dogs and felt compelled to come and meet them in person. Emily and her colleagues warmly welcomed the family, eagerly leading them to the kennel where Sam and Max were staying, now visibly healthier and full of life. The pups greeted their potential adopters with an exuberant display of tail wagging, joyful barking and excited jumps, their joyful energy and pure enthusiasm only further endeared them to the family, who couldn't help but fall in love with the adorable pair. After the shelter completed a thorough vetting process, the family was finally approved to adopt Sam and Max. The staff shared a bittersweet moment, watching the pups prepare to leave with their new family, while there was a sense of sadness in saying goodbye. The joy of knowing Sam and Max would stay together in a loving, Caring home provided immense comfort to Emily and her team. The family, who were active on social media, assured everyone at the shelter that they would frequently post updates, allowing Emily, her colleagues, and the many supporters to follow the dog's journey in their new life. To further celebrate the pup's new chapter, Emily created a personal social media page just for them, and it quickly garnered enthusiastic online engagement. The page became a testament to the pup's ongoing happiness and as Emily scrolled through the numerous posts showing Sam and Max enjoying their new life, tears of joy filled her eyes, the pure happiness they radiated in each image, the laughter-filled videos of their playful antics, and the affectionate comments from their new family overwhelmed her with emotion. This profound moment of reflection took her back to a time when she had once considered euthanasia as an option for Sam and Max. Fearing that their struggles and trauma might prove too much, However, everything had changed when she observed the undeniable bond they shared. Emily realized that, far from being burdens, the two puppies had an unbreakable connection that gave each of them strength, resilience, and hope. The bond between them served as the emotional and psychological lifeline they needed to overcome their past and embrace a brighter future. Feeling incredibly grateful to have played a role in Sam and Max's transformative journey, Emily was elated to see them thriving in their new home. Sam and Max weren't just ordinary pets, they were symbols of resilience, love, and the power of second chances. Through them, Emily learned an invaluable lesson about the importance of compassion, connection, and emotional support. Their story had touched her deeply, enlightening her to the fact that these qualities not only help animals heal but also play a crucial role in the well-being of every living being. What is the most unforgettable moment you've had with a pet that reaffirmed your belief in second chances? Share your stories in the comments below. I look forward to reading your heartwarming stories and hope you'll join me for our next video, where we continue to share tales of hope, transformation, and love.